Good so to good to have you. you, my old colleagues here in the yes, building. Sir. Thank you, sir. Let, let's talk about Kanye West, who's on tour right now, of course, with Jay-Z. They're doing mm -hmm. their international Watch the Throne tour, and Kanye was on stage in France when a fan with a laser pointer interrupted Kanye's performance. So Kanye just stopped the whole show. He pointed the guy out in the crowd, and then he really let him have it. Now, Kanye swears quite a bit in what he said, so instead of swearing, I'll be using this. Okay, uh, here's what he said. Uh, you see this guy right here with the green laser? Don't with everybody's show. This is not a game. You're going to get up and kicked out. <laughs> uh, there was an extra horn in there. Oh, I me. didn't want that. So chill the <laughs> out. Okay, you get the idea. That was basically uh, what I would have said. Right, exactly. Well, So Kanye upset about being interrupted, which is ironic to me because he's always the guy he's who's... He's the one that does, yeah, he does interrupt, interrupt the interrupt. That, That's the irony of the whole yeah. situation is that Kanye would stop a show because somebody else was heckling. But in this and case... And that's all it comes down to is being heckled. And unfortunately... You got to understand something. People pay a price for that ticket yeah. to go in and see you. So if you're doing a show called The Laser Show, <laughs> guess what's going to happen? People will make, come at you with the laser. Now, is the fan correct about doing what he's doing? I'm not certain about that. But as an artist and a performer, you got to be able to strike. It's like doing Broadway Live. People right. do crazy things. People have cell phones going off. Now, like Al Pacino, if you have a cell phone going off with him, he's not going to bust the Godfather out on you, but you never know. <laughs> no. On the way out, you might get one. I mean, Ed, honestly, it, it, it seems like he was perhaps he justified was. unless the guy was trying I to do... I think he was justified. Unless 100%. he was trying to do some eye surgery yeah, on Yeah, when you point a laser in somebody's face and then their eye and all of that stuff, it, that's over the top. I mean, if you come, pay your money, come have a good show, but you got to act accordingly. You know, you don't point a laser. Where I come from... That laser, you put that red beam or a green beam on somebody's head, that Big means trouble. something else. Right, something else yeah, that means something else entirely. So, yeah, well, I agree with well, Kanye. And look, I'm not at all surprised that Kanye, of all people, is going to lash out. But let's talk from Kanye to Kimye, because Kim Kardashian, right. uh, you know, his flame, reportedly right. out on the tour, we're talking about two superstars. Right. We're talking about two pretty big egos here, yet they look quite happy together, Dr. Dre. Kim how, how do you think they're making this work? Kim Kardashian I, I, and Kanye I, I, West. I don't know. She must have something definitely special about what she does and how she does it. Because first she started out with Ray J, then she went to Reggie Bush, then she went to I don't even know. Miles Gaston from the Dallas, Dallas Cowboys. And then what about the other gentleman? Chris from, Humphrey. Uh, from 72 man. days with Chris Se Humphrey. The 72 yeah. man. I'm never, <laughs> who, never keeping score. Who, yeah. who I enjoy. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of leprechaun thing does she have going on with herself? <laughs> I mean, it's a man, good manly, thing. yes, but I like it too. I mean, she's got something that's keeping... The snapping keep, turtle, keeping, man. It's okay. snapping and wrapping. There's nothing wrong with turtle. that. If, if they're happy, we're all happy. And, you yeah. know, she's doing what she needs to do, and actually she's getting paid a lot of money for doing it, yeah. but I'm still trying to figure out, what does she do? What does she do? What okay, does well, I'll send do? her over to your house and she Ain't can explain it to you. Hype, exactly. What does Ain't she my do? type of hype, man. Ain't my type of hype. Not for you. I like my personal joy got to be my personal joy, not a joy that everybody else touches. Well, she shares it with everybody. And, and I want to talk about somebody else who does share quite a bit of her private life, at least on Twitter. She's putting stuff out there for her fans. Rihanna. Now, she's yeah. lashing out over the constant questions about her volatile relationship with Chris Brown. And she got particularly spit mad during a recent interview that she gave to Esquire magazine. I'm going to need my horn again, so please have it uh -oh. at the ready. Okay. There's a lot of y'all can't get over, this is what Rihanna is saying, y'all mm -hmm. holding your breath on a lot of stuff that doesn't matter. I am never going to get caught up in that. I am going to look back on my life and say that I enjoyed it. This is turning into a tacky interview. What do you really want to talk about? I'm not here to talk about messy... Yeah. And, and I get that. And I understand her wanting to move on. But again, Rihanna tweets about everything she does. She puts right. out the racy pics. She talks about the parties she goes to. What do you think, Ed? Can she still expect to have her love no. life remain private? No. Uh-uh. Because you put it out there. Once you set it out there for everybody to see, this is part of being a superstar. You have to accept this part of being a superstar. You can't take the money and the fame, and go, don't ask me nothing. No, it don't work like that, sweetheart. You're a superstar. Except being a superstar, people want to know about every aspect of your life. Stop tweeting. You want people to know, stop tweeting. <laughs> Real quick, AJ, you can't go on the cover of Esquire UK half naked and give half, give me the horn, questions. Horn please. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't just do that. Like I said, yeah. the moment you decide I'm going to put myself in this situation... And I'm going to be this, and I'm going to be all... You can't now all of a sudden do the retreat when you don't like the questions. Right. If you're going to agree to do that interview, answer the questions and keep moving on. Yeah. That's all it comes and, down and to. And you know the Simple. questions are coming, and I, right. and, and I adore Rihanna, and I... Me and too. I, I love really, Rihanna. But you know your love behavior, so... But, but I, I enjoy it, too. My daughter loves her. My son loves her, loves her very much when he goes in the bathroom, too. But the bottom line is, 
She's got when the, when you're doing an interview like say that. Say no comment. You yeah. got you got there to are, just say hey, I don't. I'm not there are talk better about ways anymore. of answering it. Say no yeah. comment. No exactly. more necessary. No, All right, so I just want to move no on comment. to John Mayer because this is wild to me. He I love this one. He reveals to Rolling Stone magazine that his feelings were hurt Aww. when Taylor Swift called him out in a song after a bad breakup. Let's watch Taylor. <laughs> Well, guess what? John is not happy about that. Dr. Dre is crying. She was 19 when they dated. He was 34 years old. Listen to John's reaction to that. He said, it really humiliated me at a time when I'd already been dressed down. I mean, how would you feel if, at the lowest you've ever been, someone kicked you even lower? Now, let me remind you, this is the same guy that spoke quite candidly about all of his sexual exploits with certain people in a Playboy interview. Right. Wouldn't you say, Ed, this is a little... First of all, I don't just a little hypocritical. Yeah, that's super that's... hypocritical. John Mayer, first of all, I like John Mayer's music, but swag you do not have, bro. <laughs> no, if you let Taylor Swift's little song about Dear John bother you, your swag is way off base, John Mayer. Get some swag juice. Do something, because if that was Ed Love, I'd be like, yes! Yeah. I affected this <laughs> chick so bad, <laughs> she had to write a song about me. I am the man. Right. Absolutely. Ouch. That's how I would handle that it. That is what music is all about. But for me, I would have been like Marlon Brando in The Godfather. Stand up and act like a man! <laughs> <laughs>